today we are going to do so this plan is uh, you're getting the accrual every month okay but now what we are going to do we are giving going to give the accrual part time one and full time no 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 that you will do yeah that i'll do i meant yeah uh, now we are creating a time of plan vacation where we will give the balance up front up front do you know and what is the meaning of up front yeah from our side right thank you up front means direct entire balance okay yeah we, okay. not monthly monthly okay. even though the accrue if the period should is monthly but we are giving directly to the year all right so let me make it ca front loaded vacation okay display name vacation ca okay employee will see this not that track balance okay period schedule ytd current calendar year <laughs> based on period and date okay monthly okay we are taking days okay mm -hmm. okay effective date let's make it for like we don't have much period so i'll take backward dates like 2017 okay so from 2017 the this time of line is active in the system mm -hmm. period state date calendar display plan over it allowed yes carry over yes limit 50 days 40 the max employee can take 40 after 7 months unit of expiration months okay so this this is the thing that we did three times okay i think yeah. it is clear okay yeah now if employee employee will get end of the yeah. end of the period end yeah. of the period like the first in the first year he will get at the 31st of january okay every year mm -hmm. he will get 31st of january 31st of the month you mean 31st of the january okay okay i'm saying the entire year balance would be given at one go Oh, okay okay now upper limit 60 this this is random number i am giving huh? so ah, it is okay. not like that okay i'm just want to show you like how it will go days to include work days okay eligibility Okay. Now let's create a goal. This, this, these one, two, three is clear to you, correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Now let's create a goal. Vacation front loaded goal. now here we will do some magic part timers will get one 30 are one <coughs> that is for sickly why we are mixing we are oh, creating sorry. vacation oh, yeah, just yeah. chill have a beer and chill what i'm <laughs> saying just chill so now what we will do part timers will get a certain value full timers would get a certain value from okay. this statement what do you understand If, if condition if condition condition is a condition if you are a part timer then you are eligible for this if you are a full timer mm -hmm. you are eligible for what's on the amount so mm -hmm. i'll create a condition calculation okay I'm just giving you a hint for your next for the my next the previous you no know, for the previous comment that i told you about your second okay so vacation calculation okay as a good consultant i'll give the prefix suffix of that it is a conditional yeah. calculation okay so that if another guy like consultant work on this particular time of plan then he would understand okay such an has created this now the condition 
for a time. Full time employees, it is there. Okay. So full time employees will get 48 days and year. Okay. And if somebody is not full time, then default value would be part time. So part time will get 28 days and year. Okay. Simple. I could have also done that like B if it is a part timer. Okay? I was about but, to ask you that. But actually. but default response is already there. Okay. Why to why to waste your energy and money? Okay. Or vice versa, if you want to make it like here part time. Part time employees. Okay. Twenty eight. So by default, full time employees. Over here, I would make 48. 48. But if there are n number of conditions, like n number of conditions, like full time who is based in Canada, full time who is based in out of California, then you would have to add more conditions over here. And there would be a default condition, like whosoever is not eligible, either zero or whatever it is. Okay. Okay. Is the is the like thumb rule, the simple rule. Okay. okay. I clicked okay, okay, it's fine. It's obviously. Then I check the priority. I'll add default. Adjustment allowed. Mm -hmm. Then the front moment loaded. I click over front loaded, boom, an error would come up. Mm -hmm. Read this statement thrice and, and tell me what would be the next part. To include front loaded accurate, select front loaded annual first period of year, mid period higher or termination for accurate. Scheduling on the accurate task, select an annual period schedule on the create time of plan task. Again, read. So what is saying that? Front loaded, so you have checked that okay, this can be a front loaded accrual. But in order to in order to make it happen, you have to make a scheduling. Now understand from a practical point of view, scheduling. In mm -hmm. order to fire, you have to press a trigger. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Scheduling is the same. It is the triggering point. Okay. When to trigger. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in, in, in your, like if you use Instagram and there is an option of schedule your post, you can schedule it 7 a.m., 10 a.m. kind of a thing. So similarly, scheduling is like that. When to schedule this balance over there. Understand? Yeah. Or confused? No, I got it. But your oh. scheduling will be for other higher date, termination date like that, yes, right? Did I say that? No, I'm asking about the statement. Scheduling is based on no, there are multiple scheduling based on like now what I, my requirement is like every year first. Okay. okay. First month. Okay. 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 So what I'll do over here, I'll go to scheduling. In the statement itself, it has written front loaded mm -hmm. annual first first period of the year based on period end date. Or somebody is mid higher, higher or terminated. I'll copy mm -hmm. this. Absence looks very easy, but absence is the most complicated. It is part. not easy at all. Please, it does not even look easy. Also, so for you, it, it is, might. For you, it must be scheduling annual first period of the year based on period end date, or somebody is mid higher. Like for example, now understand from a comp company perspective, mm -hmm. like everybody would get the balance first year, right? If I would have done on on January, if I have, I can do that only in January, employee will get okay. But what if an employee who is hired in February, the system will check scheduling January and in February, if I am hired, I will not get the balance. Correct. That's why this scheduling is added like first period of the year or somebody is mid period hired. Mid period hired doesn't mean that somebody is hired on the mid of the month, any month other than the, the higher months also on the termination. Okay. So it, so it covers all the three, right? In that case. Yeah, but there are a lot of scenarios. This is the like a simple one. There are a lot of scenarios you have to bear. Okay. Okay. Click OK. Mm -hmm. Your accrual is ready. Now we'll build the time off.
CA vacation time off. Okay, my time of plan is ready. Okay, everywhere it is ready. Any questions in this time of plan? It will get refreshed. That's why I'm actually building this. It will method and time of plan. It's all now. Uh, I don't know the period. Okay, got it. First of the month. Now, do you have any questions on that? We will see balance of employees now, how it will come up. No, I don't have any questions as of now. Perfect. I understood this part. Let's see any employee whose name is John. San Francisco. Wow. wow, wow. Now let's see his balance from January. 2017 because the plan is active from 2017 correct mm -hmm. so i'll go to uh, time off yeah even time only time of balance results by period mm -hmm. i will go and select my time of plan what's my time of plan name if you remember vacation see uh, vacation something front yeah. loaded vacation i think mm -hmm. front loaded vacation yeah but it's not there. I think the last one only you have done. Vacation CA, right? Vacation CA. Display name is Vacation CA. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Now periods from 2017. This plan is active from 2017. I'll select entire to every month of 2017. Okay. Now let's see 2018. Click OK. Let's see how it goes. See, he's a full time employee. He got 48. Accruing period, then every month it is zero. Zero, zero, zero. See, you will get once in a year, correct? What I said you. Yes. Then ag again, 2018, 48. Mm -hmm. Carry over forfeited, eight. Mm -hmm. Why eight has been forfeited? Because in my time of plan, I have said you can carry maximum number of days. I... See, let's see now. I'll answer your question. 40 carry over limit. Then, yeah. Are carry over limit is 40. Oh, yes, 40. Uh, oh. uh, there will be another expiration. See, 8 limit is 40. Mm -hmm. After that, everything will be fell off. Okay? okay. But that 40 that is carry over, you need to utilize within 7 months. So, see, you will see over here, there is 7 months have been, 8th month, 40 has been forfeited. Yeah. Understood? Got it. Or you didn't? Understood. Okay, then automatically 48. Yeah. 2018, he got the balance 2017. So this is front loaded balance. And it is not like that every January. Some companies do like every April or depends on the company to company, like March, May, whatever they want to give. So this is one kind of a accrual that you give. And this is one of the common plan across uh, uh, Europe region. Like they give entire balance in a year okay not every like in india you get every month two days two days two days but across other countries it is depends on how it goes okay mm -hmm. so most of the time of plan across europe is always known as controlled as well okay hmm. any questions in that this is this is a type of uh, uh, query which comes uh, this one, uh, in when you say carry over forfeited, that means um, getting a new, um, the old balance out of that, it falls off like that, is it? Laps. You understand this word? Laps. Yeah, laps. Okay. Laps. Got it. Yeah. 
this the eight balance lapsed and since the limit was 40 so eight lapsed and after that the after seven months since we told them that you have to utilize uh within that month mm -hmm. if somebody hasn't then it got again lapsed okay oh there they were okay. Mm -hmm. oh. all right now we if we don't have any questions you i gave you a hint how to create your one okay you can create the demo remote so now what we need to do is you have to create these kind of time of plans and you expect it will be utilized sick the condition that i have given you it can be utilized in your sick okay all right. Now let me make you a time of plan which is based on your higher date. Okay. Let's name it anniversary leave. Okay. Uh, so the command to see all time of time of plans is view time is, of plan name, is it? All time of plans is also our view time of plan. Yes, correct. Okay. And don't yes. say command. We are not into coding. The task. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Yeah. All the time. All right. Time or you. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. So let's make a anniversary plan. Yes, anniversary plan. Any plan. We are tracking balance. We are going to give based on anniversary so the balance period is anniversary over here okay. anniversary period based on higher date anniversary period based on continuous service date time of service date these are three different things so what do you understand by the you have done hcm correct or uh, reporting or whatsoever what is the basic difference between a higher date and a continuous service date higher date is the day you get hired Continuous service days, how many years you have been serving in the company, right? Hmm. How many years? Hmm. Or length of period, if I may say. Correct. So, let's make it based on higher date. And, uh, one question that normal anniversary plan is no, uh, not selected normally. No, it is selected. Okay. Monthly unit of time days. It is I have not heard that it is not selected balance period as monthly. So it's based on your higher to higher date. So mm -hmm. yeah. Balance visibility, first period eligible based on higher higher date. But you did not select effective date. I will no, because it is mandatory. It will definitely. If I don't select and click OK, it will throw an error. Whatever mm -hmm. is asterisk and is it's with star, you have to select it. Mm -hmm. Anniversary period is not, we are not giving any such things. Over here, the frequency end of the period, time of upper limit. If I don't give also, there is no problem. Let me give you five. No, no lower limit. Lower limit is zero. Can I ask you a question here? The aim of this anniversary anniversary plan is for uh, uh, whenever a person approaches his anniversary, you are giving some time off days, is it? Extra days, yes. Anniversary plan is because of that. Okay. Anniversary month or higher month. Okay. In extra days. So you're giving two days, is it? Uh, the upper limit is two. Okay. I'll give two days. Yeah, I'll give two days. I'll make sure I made sure that it is like, com uh, like, compliant. All right. So, click any anniversary and accrual a a accrual. Now I'm giving two over here. Now, what should I do? Which thing should I select? I 
I think it will be based on as of date or none. I'm going with based on as on date. No. So it's like on. none. None. Okay. After that, what I will do? I'll go to time of overrides. Accrual frequency method, end of the period. Here it will ask you the first thing. Sorry, not end of the period, custom frequency. First accrual date. When it should be first accrual. So higher date plus one. Higher date plus one means one year after high, the higher date. It, which means your anniversary date. Okay. And after that, then it asks accrual accrual reoccurs after every one. Twelve months okay. <laughs> My yes. 12 months all right so what will happen this is a custom calculation which is known as date increment decrement calculation so what i can create over here if you want to have plus minus calculation like arithmetic calculated will you do similarly there is a date difference calculation which you can create name it higher date plus one year okay category always absence intervals i so there you will get three field okay oh sorry increment i would have actually added increment and decrement i sorry my bad increment and decrement calculation Where is our calculation? Date increment and decrement calculation. Absence started as higher date. Okay automatically it will have worker hired it okay you will select this one if i add one here to which means positive one plus one year okay if i add negative one over here it will hide it minus one okay okay so i'll add only one which means the positive one which had it plus one similarly if i want hired it plus one month then i can choose month also if day also we can choose day also okay, okay. three of the fields are given very simple calculation click ok so which means what will happen after every one year the employee will get some balance okay mm -hmm. now i will create first eligibility this for india accrues on time off I'll create the time off is not created, so I'll create. Variety. You want to do whatever you want to get through time off validation. Let's uh, configure. Validation, you mean checkpoints, is it? I have manual errors. Okay. Increment one, one and one, you can do. Maximum for a day would be one. <clears throat> minimum also one not 0.5 or something okay so you need to put 
all these three is it maximum minimum and increment yeah okay it depends how you want to make it on the comp but basically generally everybody does that so now let's check one employee this plan is india from india is there anyone from india if there is a member in india these are contracted let's see who are there in mumbai members like for example okay this has it first let's wait anish maju okay let's check when he is hired he is hired in 2010 so he is already but always he'll get the balances so now let's see and when he is hired in the month of in the month of april april bd no nee, sorry january sorry who oh, won na january hmm let's see some other employee who is not bhavani mahashkar she is bengali <laughs> She is also one one. Let's see some other one. I don't want anyone. I want someone with a. Priyanka is there. It is of Bengali. You can try. Everybody is contracted. Why? There is Priyanka and Praveen, na employee. Employee government. Anita is also there. Anita, where do you got hired? You got hired. Ninth of November. No, no, no. This year she is hired. I don't want. I want someone old. She will get in twenty twenty. We don't have periods. Hey, my year. Hmm. She got. Arey, everybody is hired in first first. Who is Priyanka? What's her name? Priyanka. Name. Just like Priyanka, you get it. Your spelling is wrong. Yeah. Okay. First one. Okay. She's a contingent worker, ma'am. I'm not talking about this one. The first one I was talking about. She was an. That was a. That was a contingent, na? Right? I saw. <laughs> this one. Yeah. If it is twenty twenty two hired it, then we'll not. Yeah, it's also twenty twenty two. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, which are the other location in India? Delhi. Hmm. Bangalore. If we see if there are any members in Delhi, but there is no members in Delhi. You put Bangalore. Interesting. Nobody is there. Let's go with Mumbai only. I'm from Mumbai. Ah, uh, no, no. It must be someone here. Other than Hyderabad. Chennai. Is there a uh, Hyderabad? Hyderabad location. Members, I have members. No. Yes. When is the hire date? So everybody is right now is hired. So let's see how it this gentleman will receive. any plan anniversary plan then 2017 this plan was active 2018 let's see how is it in 
Let me click OK. For two days he got, after that he didn't get anything. See. Which column are you seeing? Accrued, accrued, in, accrued in period. Accrued in period, okay. Hmm. After that he didn't get anything. Every month he's not getting anything. Then again, yeah, yeah. 2018 20. he got. Yeah. 18. Accrued in period. There is also forfeit also because this plan, if you will not use it, the balance would lapse. Yes. The other word which we use is forfeit in English. Okay. okay. Every month he is getting, getting it. Every year he is getting. This is the anniversary plan. Okay. Okay. A simple anniversary plan, which is a which is also a plan that everybody work on. Mm -hmm. Normally, do you get like plans like this in your company? Uh, this is a basic plan. For us, we don't have all this. That's why I was asking. It's the basic plan. You will get those things. You will get plans. I'm starting with very basics. Now, it depends on HR to HR how they want to mold those things. Mm -hmm. How they're difficult they want. This is I to give you the basic. Now, the things will come into the place like difficulty would come into the place. Right. Okay. Anniversary plan, like a uh, five-year anniversary, 10-year anniversary, 15-year anniversary. Then you decide who gives like every anniversary he gives. Everybody gives up a five, 10, a milestone. That you need to think how will you will think. All right. You can, you, I'll just give you a hint that you will create a conditional calculation. Okay. Okay. Now, the, today we did two time of plans, a very good time of plans, front loaded and this anniversary the Anniversary plan. plan. Okay, so what you need to do, you need to replicate the same in your way. Okay. Okay. But in your way for anniversary, let's do it. You will give five. If somebody reaches five years, mm -hmm. you will give five days, five ten days. years, ten days. Okay. All in one thing. In all in one. Okay. 5 in 5, 10 in 10. Okay. 15 in 15, 20 in 20. And above that, everybody would get 20 only. Okay. 15, 15 and 20, 20, you said, right? Let's, whatever value you want to give, but 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay. Okay. And above and that, 20 is 20. The, whatever the 20 value occurs is that. You have to just, just roll your mind into that and come back with a good uh, answer. All right. Okay. I will try my best. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's okay. not an issue. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Sorry. Okay. So these are two type of plans. What are the issues that you are facing? What are the things that you want to ask? I have for? a question here. I want to know how do you create this period thing? Like from 1st of December to 31st of... I don't create. I don't create. We don't create it, is it? I thought it was part of here. Okay, got it. It's a balance period, no? Mm. It is YTD by today. The first day I give you a session. What yeah. is the balance? Yeah. YTD. But you said no, the period is not there. For example, this 2023, right? So I that's a period. Periods. Yeah, you have to create period schedule. That is what I meant. Sorry, I did not use the correct word then. Period schedule. You have to create create period schedule, generate period schedules, periods of period schedule. Which period schedule you are using? You have to generate the periods for that. Okay. And it is a manual work every year we have to do in order to have the existence of periods so that we can see this periods over every month. Got it? Sorry, yeah, I got it. Yeah, you have to create period schedule, period schedule. So what you do, you can do one thing. Mm -hmm. Let's do one thing. You create a period schedule today. Okay, and we will use that period schedule everywhere. Just a manual work you have to do. Create period schedule. Okay. Mm -hmm. Type the period schedule name. Like for example, A N monthly period schedule. Okay. I'll do just once. What you need to do monthly period schedule. Okay. Frequency. Three sixty five days, right? 
monthly monthly okay 65 please no that i was would asking. be an annual annual that okay would, that would be an annual mm-hmm. now we start but if i create a... monthly then i have to add every month na no? like this going going yes like yes okay, okay. and if you create annually then once in a year you will see the balance okay okay i understood so that means to say the visibility will be only for that particular month visibility not only visibility everything the balance would be given only once if you create annual what do you mean by the word frequency just a simple word frequency frequency means uh, whether it has to be monthly annual however every no no you are giving you are giving me an example i want to ask you the what is the english meaning of or your ask me meaning of the word frequency time huh i will say time time once time. again uh yeah i would say um duration or time in another word the number of triggering part how the things would move what is the like repetition is the, <laughs> is the meaning of the frequency you're saying when scientific you, meaning <laughs> but when you when yeah the repetition but when you see uh, now connect it with over here when i say monthly every month he will be getting so what is the frequency every month i am giving two days which means yeah. the frequency is monthly and when you see if i give 365 days so what will happen with once you, in a year once in a year the breakdown that you see that every month in the time of results by period you will not see okay got my got your point Zero one, zero one. Period. Two zero two two. Two zero two two. Zero one three one. This is one period. Okay. Then I added another one. So I need to create like this for twenty twenty one, two and three, right? I am just saying what to do. Twenty twenty two. Just do it for few months. Okay. How do you remember all of this? What to do, when to do, and all. What to do, when to do, man? I mean to say, which which has to follow what like that. The period started is of the start of the month, and it is the end of the no, month. No, not in this period area. Generally, I'm saying. It comes with the practice. It comes okay. with it comes with your how you think. about those things okay so another after, question hmm. is that we have this concept called leap year right then how does hmm. that work it automatically calculates worked automatically calculates okay leap it will give you an error it will give me an error is it yeah yeah okay okay everything Just need to brush up your skill, ma'am. I'll give you honest feedback. You've been two. How many years you've been in workday? Two years. Two and a half. Two and a half years. Ma'am, you need to two and a half years. But I've not worked in this entire time. I've been since twenty twenty one. 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 Yeah, well, I'm not a genius like you, so obviously. No, no, I'm not a genius, then. But two and a half years is a long time. When I started, within six months, I completed HC. No, within two, I was hands on with the client because you, I'm just giving you feedback because you're hands on working on a client. You need to be very prompt on those things, and reporting also when it comes to like metrics, advanced reporting. What is the use of RBO from RBO to multi instance? Multi instance would give how many values you need and other things. Like thanks aggregate when to use aggregate calculator field other things so I would say you need to practice hands on and, and try asking your employer to give you much much work so that your exposure would increase even I did that I asked my employer to give me like my my leader to give me much and much work in different different domains I know benefits I know absence I know time tracking I know reporting also security HCM so 
try to ask if your manager gives you all right but it will enhance you because it's a very vast domain so for your benefit what i did uh i have created multiple periods all right in this so what you can just refer your periods so what all right so you can do that over here all right so we created two time of plans and now it's quite cool hey we will think about logically things like if an employee is terminated in the mid month would he be getting some balances if an employee gets terminated one day before the period end date will he get be balances and tenure based balances tenure based balances also so these two time of plans we would study we will study different kind of time of plans all right these are the time of plans that comes all right this is a basic time of plan that comes and we work on those time of plans and mold our configuration accordingly in the day to in my day to day life also for example we have a lot of things in our company uh, where we give employee uh, legal time of plan also and also supplemental time of plan in my organization okay so those kind of things we will also understand okay but you know, i need to ask tell you that you need to just brush up whatever i told taught you today mm -hmm. go through those things what uh, what are the important aspects and all okay yeah. all right so i think two of the time of plans we do and what are the i gave you the homework also yeah you gave me a homework on creating period schedule then mm -hmm. anniversary, five year, ten year, fifteen year thing. Then uh, I need to modify modify mm -hmm. the um sick leave plan that I had made. Yeah. I need to add conditional calculation in that. I guess. Yeah. View period schedule is the task. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And I have a an monthly period schedule. Okay. I will click OK. I'll see two periods right now. Okay. If you want to add more periods, what you can do, you can go to periods, generate periods. Okay. Then how many periods you want to add? You can add over here. Like for example, 24, 24 periods means for two years because it's a monthly. Click OK. Oh, it got stuck. 24. I click OK. Periods to generate. What it will do? It will see how many periods it will generate. And then click OK. So what I got an error that more than one period share the same payroll payment. It's fine. I don't give a damn. I click OK. So now what you can see in my AN monthly period schedule, I get the 24 periods. I just created two and rest automatically will be created. Okay. 